What is up, everybody? I'm back. I have returned. I was absent for a while. I did my 100th upload and then I disappeared from the earth. Even my subscribers could say that I disappeared. I did not play any Call of Duty yesterday. I didn't do crap. If you really want to know, I was playing some Tiger Woods and I was getting my nerd on. Let's just put it that way. Anyways, this is Wacky Wednesday. Notice how I said Wednesday. It's going to be this Wednesday. It's a series I used to have. A lot of you have been like, Dead Storm, please bring it back. I like it. Okay, I understand. I'm bringing it back a little bit. I'm going to try and make it maybe not Wacky Wednesdays, but Wacky Whatever Day. You know, I really can't stay committed to a series too committed. I do the mail series. I'm going to have that up soon. But I do it when I want to and when I can. That's my honest opinion. If you guys really want more Wacky Wednesdays in the future, you can have it. First thing I want to put out before I do this Wacky Wednesdays is I'm going to talk about my subscriber gameplay submission form. I have a form on my channel where you can submit your gameplay to be used in one of my commentaries. It has to be a 3KD or higher gameplay. It can't be too campy. It can't be infected or drop zone. I mean, those game modes are really easy to get gameplays in. It has to be a regular game mode. Maybe some search. Maybe some, I, I don't know, domination, team deathmatch. Something like that. Like I said, not too campy. And it has to be under 10 minutes. It I can't commentate forever and ever. Also, when you submit your gameplay, your gameplay might be subject to edits to either improve the video or make it more suitable for my commentary. I might take out certain parts where it gets pretty boring, gets kind of slow. With that said, you guys can start submitting. Anyways, back to Wacky Wednesdays, our first story. 1873 Dime sells for $1.6 million. That is the title of this story. However, if you read more into it, it says that it actually sold for $1.84 million. There was a 15% buyer's fee. The buyer was an anonymous person. He bought it from a gallery. He must really wanted that dime. I understand the value of old coins. Wish I had one, right? I look at every penny I get, just in case. Our next story, Farmer tramples seven police cars in tractor rampage. Basically what this story is about is this guy got arrested a month before by the police for drug possession. He really didn't like it. He had some beef. He was like, hey, leave me alone. Let me get high. So what he did was a month later, he trampled over seven of their cars with his big tractor, as the police referred to it. It was a very big tractor. Anyways, the guy got his revenge. He was like, leave me alone. Don't know what the police did about it, but I think he put his point across. I think he took out the majority of their squad cars. This happened in Montplier, Vermont, so there's not many police cars to begin with. I think only two are left. They were out doing runs. He hit them where it hurt. Just put it that way, but they're going to hit them back where it hurts. It's going to be a ball shot. Our next story. Pet store thief stuffs puppy into pants. Yes, you heard me right. He tried stealing a 10-month old puppy. Net value, $1,000. He actually began the robbery trying to distract the clerk while getting money out of the register. When that didn't work, he was like, you know what? Still need money. Why don't I just stuff this puppy in my pants? Enjoy the sight, little puppy. I feel bad for that puppy. I can't imagine. I would have died. I don't know what. Anyways, the store owner, Harsha Pereira, said the store video shows very clearly he's taking the dog and putting it in his pants. The puppy is trying to get out and he's pushing it back in. Oh my god, poor puppy. The store owner's son proceeded to say, then he covered it with his shirt. Bye bye puppy, enjoy the dark. Oh my god. And our last story, girl raised by cows found in Russia. 
basically what happens is this girl was five years old she was found by social workers in the barn with the cows what happened is her parents her mother and stepfather i believe they didn't want to deal with her they really didn't like her they were disgusting in my opinion terrible parents they had her live out with the cows she was using cigarette butts for toys that's terrible i can't believe how some parents are nowadays anyways she was found by the social workers and rescued but what this really boils down to i, I know this wacky wednesday is supposed to be funny and all that but sometimes you have stories like this and terrible examples of parenting terrible parents people that are not motivated to do anything for a child i strongly disagree with the way they treated her i think it's ridiculous but you know what that's a whole different commentary concept something that i can talk about later if you want me to i'm done with it i really don't want to get into more detail about it Anyway, that is it for this Wacky Wednesday. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave the video a like rating. Remember also that I have the subscriber gameplay submission form if you would like to have my commentary over your gameplay. Also remember that this is not a permanent series. Like my mail series, I will post a video whenever I feel like I'm up to it. If you guys did enjoy it, please request more of these. Have a great day, guys, as I will too. Peace, guys. Thank you.